hey guys welcome to my video so in this video we will see how to create a gif image the animated image from the set of jpg images in your android app so let's begin we will create a of course a new project next gif image from gif from gif from jpg uh, app yeah, you can name it anything. I will choose the Android API 32, which is the latest one. Click finish, wait for my environment to load. In the meantime, I'll quickly show you. So I'll be using a piece of code from this uh, shared code, Android GIF Animated Writer. Thanks to Dragon66 for providing that. And of course, he has given a bunch of codes here and you can go through how to use and read me file. But I think I'll, uh, I'll just need this particular uh, one Java file which he has written. And yeah, we'll be using the content of this file uh, more or less. So you can pull out the main part. So I think he has written a couple of nice methods here to convert the things in the first convert them into bitmap, the images, and then put it into a frame wise into the GI frame. Yeah, but we will not get in, into the details of this code. It's pretty lengthy code, so you can go through it. But just wanted to showcase that I'll be using this piece of the code. And this piece has been created by Venue and it's although it's an open source, but I think uh, you should make sure that you go to the uh, distribution license. It's, it's covered under the Eclipse public license, so you go through this before using it. Now, switching back to my environment, environment has come up, so perfect. And in parallel, I'll also open my uh, emulator, uh, just uh, yeah, uh, not to spend too much time. And uh, to start with, probably I'll just quickly copy this piece of the code uh, and create a uh, yeah uh, the Java file. I think uh, no, okay. First, let me do one thing. Uh, I think I can create this Java new Java code under my yeah over here new Java class, and I can just press enter. It has been created. Perfect. Now, if I go back. Uh, to my browser and I can just take this complete code I think uh, uh, there was a copy button but nevertheless or it seems to be a very long code so let me use that copy button itself so there is a copy button and uh, if I go back to my java file I think I will just leave my package name which of course I will need it but other things I can copy paste I think my Emulator has also come up in parallel on you know, the right hand side. No problem if I scroll up. I think, uh, of course, package name I may have to just comment out. Uh, all thanks to Dragon 66. Again, I'm repeating that. Yeah, but we have got the file in our uh, environment which we will be using to create or develop our application. Before I proceed, I'll quickly give certain permissions to read and write external stories because we'll definitely need the access uh, to exchange the files and in this on create method we can use uh, activity compat to ask the users for the uh, request permission for this to whatever we are defining in our mini session for read and write external storage we can ask for that this new string and uh, this could be manifest dot permission dot read external storage and what was manifest dot permission dot like external storage and uh, what else I will need is I will need probably yeah package no 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 not this one package manager dot permission granted perfect yeah so with this line it will be uh, it will I think uh, seek the permission from the user uh for reading or writing the external storage now i will create a public method public void and probably i can name it as button uh, create gif and then you you perfect and if i switch back uh, to my layout i think i don't need this navigation thing now 
Uh, we'll keep this uh, definitely the text view, but along with that, I'll also insert a button uh, quickly. And if I expand the attribute pane over here, I'll name this as create GIF. Perfect. And I can give some kind of constraints. And in this text view, I can expand it and I can name it as text view. And uh, probably I can align the text. to center probably somewhere around center and size of the text to be something like 24 perfect okay this this text we will need uh, just to showcase our results so i can just quickly create a local private uh, class variable with this text view okay Find view by id r dot i dot text view perfect okay i think one thing also i missed out is associating this with the this particular button uh on click attribute so i'll just scroll down in this on click attribute and i'll associate it with this method so whenever this button is clicked this particular method will be called perfect so now we can start our uh, code for this method main method but before that i like to quickly show something in my emulator what i've done is in this uh, downloads folder uh, i have got a couple of images of few flowers all are roses some red some pink so we'll create a it, these are images right if you like a static image but i'll convert uh, using these three images into a gif so let's uh, see how we can do it very easily. I'll again minimize on my right hand side just not for to avoid any distraction and let's begin here. So first I'll put a try catch which will take care of all my exceptions if something is being thrown because we'll be doing a heavy processing of writing and reading from uh, yeah text view dot get text We'll be doing heavy processing of reading and writing from the memory and storage and definitely we'll need some kind of try catch to uh, hold the exception so we can just catch the exception if something is being thrown and probably i can also print the exceptions to string yeah in case you got now we can put our no we can put our main piece of code over here under the try uh, subroutine over here perfect so first and foremost, we'll start with something called a storage manager. We'll create a storage manager, which we'll get from get system service storage service. Yeah, this is what I need. It may ask me to type cast uh, yeah, cast it to storage manager that it will take care. Then what I'll do is I'll create a list of storage volumes out of this. So wh why I'm doing all these things is because so that I can fetch the download folder uh, path over here so let's see and what i can do is i can just quickly create use this storage manager to get a storage volumes yeah perfect and now from this list of storage volumes i'll pull out a storage volume so what i'll do is a storage volume dot get and index for the internal uh, memory is zero i think i can just put it here zero for internal memory if you are accessing some external external memory like sd card or something i think uh, you have to put one over here nevertheless uh, we'll focus on our image part here and now i'll create file so there are three files i guess so i'll just create file source one and this I'll read from uh, new file and storage volume what we have just now created and get directory dot get path so this will give me the path just before the path to the internal storage and what we'll do is we will then navigate to download folder and in download folder we have three files right 
so we'll one by one take all see so first one is images.jpg so if i quickly go to my emulator just to be sure so this is images.jpg images jpg and images 2.jpg so we'll create control c control v we'll create uh, three uh, variables file source one file source two and we'll just name it images one two and three perfect now if i move on we will need a uh, object of class animated gif writer so we'll create animated gif writer new and i think we can give we can leave it blank or we can give it true as well so this is like is it like data perfect we should also create a output source file i think that i missed out so probably what i'll do is i'll just create file file testing so i can name it which is my probably the output where the gif will be created and here what i can do is here i can get file and probably instead of going to the download folder this time i'll use get external external files directory which is nothing but the files in the uh, uh, data directory of my particular app okay and then i can name this file probably something like uh, probably my first gif right i will name it as extension as gif yeah perfect i'm not sure why this screen is getting blank here i can just do this way okay now we'll be using this to create our output stream so we can create something called as output stream, output stream and we'll use the new file output stream and file destination is what i can use for creating my file output stream now uh, and from this source files we have to create convert them into bitmap so what i'll do is now i'll start creating bitmap uh, so bitmap probably I can make it bitmap one and over here what I can use is bitmap factory dot decode file sorry so because we are editing from file so we can decode from file and one by one we can use it I think there is something wrong here so it expects type so I can just convert it, it into path and that should be fine yeah now again I'll no I'll create three bitmaps one two three so it can be done for more images in this example i'm just taking three images but yeah just put your note it can be done for more images so once we have these three bitmaps we will use our animated gi writer over here what we have created for i think just control x control down here i think that could be a good practice and i also do one thing is i'll move this over here because then it associates right from the source and it associates in the destination part over here okay and uh, now what we can do is we can create uh, this writer whatever we have done so this should prepare for light and we should give the our sum of the data which is output stream and width and height so we can leave it as minus one and minus one and it will automatically fetch the output stream from the first image over here perfect and if i go further down then what i can do is i can use this animated writer to light the frame so light frame and over here what i can input i need is one is the output stream definitely definitely the second is a bitmap so i can give the bitmap probably i can start with one and this is all if i'm using the second signature i can give a delay also so i'll probably give some delay of say for example 1000 uh, which is around one second probably it's in milliseconds and i'll have to repeat this line for uh, the all the three images so i think i can do one two and three and once we are done this then what i can do is probably i can just do a finish right and that's all what i feel i think I'm okay here yeah, i guess i may have to give the output stream and then i can use my text view to print uh, or set text if everything is fine but i can just say success yeah or i can use a toast message as well so it depends on what kind of 
program you want to do and that's all anyway for the failure part we have anyway put it over here so that will be taken care so i'm running the code let me see how it comes up uh, in my emulator and yeah so it's asking okay i'm not sure why this dark screen is coming now so i just zoomed in to avoid that so it's asking me to allow uh, my app to access yeah uh, the files on this device say allow click this and it says success wow great so uh, what we can do is we should navigate to our destination path right which is this one and see if this file is created or not so let me quickly go to my files menu and uh, let me zoom out a bit and this will be in the data folder of my uh, android app so if I go inside data and uh, I think uh, you have to go to your package so I think this is what my you, you can just check your uh, uh, you can scroll to the top mouse and this is your package name and that same should become your com.programmerworld.gi from jpg app yeah so inside these files perfect so I can see one J gi file which is same as this one my first gi dot gif oh, yeah and if i click it wow perfect it works it works nice nice yeah so probably i can do one thing i can change the file name now say my second guy and probably i can change the order here i can start first with second then one and three. this is just for fun i am doing it and i uh read and i think this is anyway an independent application related keep running and uh, if I click here it again says success so let me go back let me go back one new file has come up and this time if you notice it's not the first image it's the second image and uh, because we have changed the order and this first image which is like pink rose will come as a second image if I make it bigger perfect but if you notice the size of the image is a bit different because when we give minus one minus one over here the first image is the image which decides the size overall size of the my gi image perfect so of course we can keep creating we can keep scaling up if you want to add more images we can keep uh, adding and all and we can keep give delay as per our requirement but uh, yeah it's so simple thanks to again uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, the github environment uh, to provide this code Okay, so I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.